November day three, I'm having my coffee and I'm working on edits for yesterday's. I'm gonna try to get this done before going to the gym. I'm having a really bad skin again and it is so frustrating. I've been keeping you guys updated on the vlogs, but just in case you're new, I started taking spironolactone, I think it's been almost four months now, which is crazy. Maybe like three and a half, but I've been taking that for a while and I definitely thought it was helping it didn't fully clear up my skin, but it was definitely, like I was breaking out less and it was more manageable, but I felt like I needed a little bit more. So I decided to start using tretinoin. So I've been using this for about a month now and my skin is just exploding on my face. And I don't know either the spironolactone is actually not working or my skin is just purging because it's getting used to this. I don't know. So I'm trying not to be frustrated and just like ride it out. I'm gonna keep using both but it's just like, ugh, it's such a long game. I started putting makeup on already. I have to put makeup on like as soon as I wake up because if I'm looking in the mirror, I will just constantly pick my face. I need to put more makeup on. Like I can't see the stuff on my face or else I'm just gonna go crazy. So yeah, I don't like wearing makeup to the gym, but I'm putting makeup on today. This concealer is like almost gone. I'm just gonna like finish it. I have like, ugh, like right in the middle of my eyes. No, thank you. I was gonna go to the gym, but I need to reshoot something and I had to curl my hair for it. So instead I'm taking Tika for a W-A-L-K and I'm gonna shoot it when I'm outside. I might do the gym later today, but we might just skip it. So much for curling my hair, it's completely flat. We just finished up a walk and now we're having lunch at a cafe. You wish, it's not for you though. I got this bar. Don't really know what it is, but it's good. Tika wants it. <laughs> Carla got soup and a grilled cheese and this is turmeric coconut chicken or something of the sorts. Looks really good. Your little Tika baby girl. You are so beautiful. My goodness, but you're so cute. High five. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just having a moment on the floor. I feel like the one thing I cannot stay on top of right now is laundry. Just between packing, unpacking, getting ready for the day. I left laundry for a while and I had to do like three loads. Anyways, um, I was gonna show you the mess, but it's like really bad and it's embarrassing. But um, this is just like part of the mess right now. And then my suitcase is exploding over there. And then my bedroom's also a situation. So we're gonna situate this right now. I finally unpacked and caught up in laundry. Now I'm just taking a minute to chill. My new thing for today is going to be trying out a different class at my yoga studio. I go to an oxygen and I normally do the more like hit cardio classes, but they do have a lot of more traditional 
stretching yoga style classes. So the one I'm doing today is called Hatha Core. So it sounds like there's still a little bit of like strength conditioning involved, but I think it's gonna be more of a chill like stretching class, but I'm not totally sure, we'll see. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as much of a workout, but I feel like I'm doing this more for like my mental sanity versus like getting a good workout in. I'm gonna leave here in like 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm just gonna like chill for a little bit, probably edit today's footage so far, and then we'll go. Just got out of my class. When I lived downtown, I always worked out in the evening. And now that I live back where I live, I always do morning workouts, but it felt so nice to switch it up, especially doing a different type of workout. Right now I'm pretty much just doing like weightlifting and cardio on occasion. Um, that was more, definitely more of a traditional yoga class, but it was still very challenging. They also do it in a heated room. So it's like hot yoga, like I'm in full, I'm fully drenched in sweat right now. But the poses were challenging. It's more like calisthenics, is that the word? Kind of more of that vibe. But anyways, I'm feeling good. It's like 8 p.m. now, so I'm gonna go home, have a really good shower, fully wash my hair. I'm probably just gonna do a protein smoothie for dinner because um, I'm not super hungry. But yeah, that's kind of the end of today. I think I'm gonna combine this with tomorrow and so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm just about to head to the gym. We're gonna do upper body today. How do you guys clean your water bottles like this? Because I feel like I can never fully get into the lid. Just it's not being fresh. I don't know how you do like a deep clean of this. This water bottle actually has something to do with what we're doing today for our new thing. So later today, I'm actually going to a new dentist. The dentist that I've gone to for my entire life recently retired, so I am in the market for a new dentist. But the reason that I'm going to this new person is because I have a consult today for dental bonding. I actually chipped this front tooth about a month ago. I don't know if you can see. Oh, right there. I chipped it on this water bottle at the gym. I just like jammed it in my face too fast. It's not a bad chip, but I do want to get it fixed. I also just want to ask about maybe doing a little bit more. I don't know, I'm just gonna go in today and kind of get an opinion and see what they think. I don't think it's cheap, so I do want to get like a quote and we'll just go like get all, all that information today. I am now out of my appointment. I didn't get any footage when I was in there, but there was just like a lot of information to take in. I just have like decisions to make. But it was a very thorough examination. They take so many pictures of you and like your individual teeth and like your smile from all different angles and like inside. So very informative. Um, so I'm coming back next week and they're gonna do an x-ray of my mouth. So my old dentist said that like, I would have to get filling soon. He's saying I should probably just get it done now. This is when I wish I had dental coverage, but you have your teeth for life, you gotta take care of them. It just like ends up being expensive. I literally just did x-rays. I wonder if, I don't think they can transfer. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna do x-rays at the next appointment and then he's just gonna fill in like the chips, like my chip tooth and then also straighten out the two front ones a little bit. But on here, she like highlighted the top four and the top bottom. Kind of hard to explain everything, but I'll still be vlogging next week, so you guys can see the, the after and if there's any noticeable difference. But I'm also wondering, like, should I be whitening my teeth first? So much to think about, oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Going through the Starbucks drive-thru, they have the caramel brulee latte back. I feel like I've been eating out so much recently and I don't normally, but I love drive throughs so much. Caramel brulee latte half sweet, oat milk, a croissant, warmed up. I'm so torn about what to do with my teeth. So many options. Are teeth roots really that long? I love that it's raining right now and I have this hot drink. I just went to Walmart. I wanted to get white strips because I want to whiten my teeth before I get my chips fixed. 
Um, I don't fully know how it works, but I think they match the bonding to your current teeth color. And then if you want to whiten your teeth later down the line, the whitening will only work on your natural teeth and not on the bonding. So you want to make sure your teeth are the color you want beforehand. There are so many different versions. There is one, this is only like, this is eight shades whiter. There was one that was like 14 shades and 28 shades lighter. I don't know. I my teeth aren't like super yellow. They could just be whiter. And then I also got this toothpaste. And it is like the highest whitening available toothpaste. I think. Crest 3D White Brilliance. I got some Epsom salts too. I'm pretty sore. And I just want to have like a nice lavender bath soak on this rainy day. But yeah, I was gonna go to HomeSense. I think I'm not going to because I'm just picturing, like if I do see a mirror I like, carrying it in the pouring rain. It just doesn't seem ideal. I'm probably gonna go tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait for it to like not be raining. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go home now. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then start back up tomorrow for a new one. What am I doing tomorrow? I'm working on something exciting tomorrow. A new project. I don't want to get you guys excited. It's like a Vancouver based thing. If you're a Vancouver person, maybe it's exciting. But I can't say anything yet. Well, I probably. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!